So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Watson on first down. Dumps it complete to Miller. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Dagger, dagger, Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Throw left side complete. It's Griffin. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know I spend a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll run it now out of the gun, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Third down. this one down to the 30. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Bill O'Brien rolls the...